wildflower season is just around the corner and Western Australia has the largest variety of wildflowers in the world. With the Midwest region of WA rated one of the best spots in the country to see these seasonal blooms. From late June to November, more than 12,000 wildflower species carpet the Midwest region with a vibrant display of colour and sweet scents with over half of these blooms not able to be seen anywhere else on Earth. With this season set to be one of the best yet, be sure to plan your trip and book accommodation in advance so you don't miss out. In Kalbarri National Park, over 1,000 species of native flora burst into bloom throughout the season, with many of these found exclusively in this region. Before you get out here though, there's one stop you need to make first. The Visitor Centre keeps track of reported wildflower sightings in the area, serves as a booking agent for wildflower tours and can advise you on departure times and itineraries. So start your wildflower adventure right here in the centre of town. So what do I need before I head out to look at the wildflowers? I um, would encourage all visitors to come into the centre firstly. Um, we get updates from operators around town about where they're flowering and when. Um, so uh, water, hat, sunscreen, enclosed shoes and a map really is a good start. Yep. Awesome. And what are some great locations for me to go and see some wildflowers? Well, definitely the National Park. That's that's the main attraction of Kalbarri. Um, we have 1,200 species that flower, many unique to the area. Um, I'd, I'd probably start with the Z-Bend and the Nature's Window, the Skywalk, of course. Don't forget the coastal fringes. We've got Natural Bridge, Island Rock, the Boardwalk, Pot Alley. There's lots of coastal sites to explore. The Loop Trail is a stage four, nine kilometre track and provides stunning views of the Murchison River Gorge. On the Loop Trail, you'll spot a range of wildflowers like the Kalbarri Spider Orchid, which you may have guessed by the name, is found exclusively in Kalbarri. There's also species of Banksia, Waddle and other native orchids. The views are pretty spectacular along the way too. For some coastal wildflower views, check out Rainbow Valley and Mushroom Rock, with orchids often found at the Natural Bridge and Red Bluff sites. The Rainbow Valley Trail links with Mushroom Rock and is a three kilometre return loop along the cliff tops above the ocean. You might even be able to spot a migrating humpback whale on your travels, with both the wildflower and humpback whale seasons coinciding this year. Tourism WA is also launching a wildflower tracker app to connect you to some amazing wildflower displays by identifying recent sightings in the area. For more information on wildflowers in Kalbarri, visit this website.